my gosh, for goodness sake, it's time for another Bogus Quote Break. Hello folks, we're back with Bogus Quote Break. Let me just briefly say a word about how we ended this series last time. I mentioned an experiment to track a bogus quote to see how far and fast it spread. That didn't work out too well, so we'll just pick up where we left off in the series. This time we have another quote by an early church father, and it's another of those that's often used to make Christianity look like it promotes stupidity. But as you'll see, as usual, it's the fundy atheists who end up looking stupid. This is St. Augustine, and about this quote. This quotation is another in a long line of anti-intellectual statements by you stupid Christians. I mean, look at that. It's plainly anti-science. Why'd you Christians go back to kindergarten, man? Okay, well, we know what's going to happen next, don't we? What we have here is a quote that's mostly authentic, but it's robbed of an important context. It comes from a passage in Augustine's Confessions. As you can see, Augustine refers to the disease of curiosity in terms of seeing things like a mangled corpse. He refers further to strange sights exhibited in the theater. It's kind of like people today who like to slow down and stare at traffic accidents, or who like to go to circus shows to see things like the two-headed monkey. Augustine then goes on to refer not exactly to the secrets of nature, as in science facts, but things that are similar to what is found in the magical arts and religion. What he probably refers to here by hidden powers of nature has to do with pagan spiritual beliefs and pagan gods. So there you go. Augustine's warning is about voyeurism and mysticism, not science and investigation. That's all for this round. We'll start this back up as a monthly series now. Until next time, this is J.P. Holding. See ya! Oh yeah? Well, I still say you Christians are stupid. In fact, I'll bet you go around hitting yourselves with mallets. <laughs> <laughs>